Hey, how you doing? My name is Ryan, and today I am continuing to chug along with this year's Halloween costume, Captain America. So even though last time I did a ton of work, I still have quite a bit to do. Today's goals are to clean up the shoulder pads with some fabric and some detail trim, and maybe even add a star. So for the shoulder pads, I have some leftover blue scrap foam, which are actually the sleeves from the jumpsuit that I cut off, one of the first things I did. And I think there should be just enough fabric to cover the shoulder pads, as well as maybe add some of this uh, red binder, because I think he actually has two uh, circle icons on each shoulder. That might be only the newer suits, but I'm gonna add it for a little bit of red color. As with a lot of this costume, I'm getting the best edge by folding over the fabric, the excess fabric, and gluing it to the inside, and then probably trimming off the excess, uh, you know, this flap here. I have a little bit of leeway with this part because there are straps, you know, detail straps that go all the way around the shoulder pad. So I have a little bit, but I'm not gonna play it too dangerously because I wanna make sure that I have enough fabric for everything. But I think already this is looking so much nicer than the uh, black shoulder pad with just some duct tape on it. I have a little bit of spot here that I'm going to cover up with the detail fabric. All right, let's do the other side. All right, now it's time to take the remaining, I want to guess, three and a half yards of this uh, silver-ish, kind of dark, I guess dark white, uh, straps and add all the detail embellishments to the shoulder pads. They kind of they kind of connect to all the various pieces in the costume from the front straps to the back. And I gotta sort of think through and just sort of piece together each each individual part. And this might take a bit of time because I kind of have to be a little bit premeditative in how I laid things out. I'm not entirely sure. This is one of the few parts of the costume that I didn't entirely fully think through when I was designing. So I hope this. Works. After a few minutes and way too many hot glue and burns to count, I think I have a shoulder pad design that I'm really happy with. Uh, I added a, a red circle on each shoulder pad. I'm, that's in a lot of the designs to the Captain America costume. I'm not sure if it's in all of them, but it's in enough that I want to add it into mine. Now it's time to add a star. I went to Target and found this in the dollar section. It's a small foam Captain America shield, but in looking at it, the star is kind of the right size. So I might use this as a template, if not a base for it. And then I'm going to stitch down one half and then Velcro the other so I can still open my costume up. But also I might use this red foam to go over the red dots, make them look a little bit better. So we are salvaging pieces here. I like that. We're being resourceful. Peel, carefully peel the star up. And again, it was only a dollar. So if I mess up, I'll drop another dollar down. Yes, star. I think that's a great size. I think that's exactly the size that I want. This also saves me the trouble of having to draw out a mathematically perfect star, which I could do, and I probably would do it pretty well, but it, it's just better if I have a computer do it for me. It's kind of like, yeah, I can make my own pair of gloves, but I'm probably just gonna find a pair of leather gloves that does the job for this costume. I think that's the actual perfect size for this costume. So in all of my costume reference photos, Captain America's star has actually two tones to it, a highlight and a shadow. I'm gonna use both this white foam craft sheet and this silver craft sheet for the highlights and the shadow. Thank <laughs> you. 
sometimes things don't work as well as you thought they would. Uh, I'm making this star and I'm trying to use various colors of foam to get almost a 3D effect. And looking at it in person, it looks more like a, a color test than an actual uh, depth and shadow and highlight. I mean, I might finish it to see what it looks like, but worst case scenario, I'll just take a piece of white foam, uh, trace out a star from this, cut it out and use just white, and then have all the shines and detail work be done in you know, weathering effects as opposed to actual craft foam. But I might still give this a shot because actually looking at it on camera, it reads pretty well. Maybe, I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, here's what I ended up doing. I took a white craft foam star glued it on top of the original white craft foam star. So now it looks pretty plain, but I'm gonna detail it with, you know, some brushwork and some different colors, some texturing and some weathering. But now it actually has a bit of uh, a bit of depth to it and a bit of strength to it. Now I'm gonna glue and sew one half down to the costume and Velcro the other half. that'll do. But as with all big steps in making this costume, gotta try it on, make sure it all works. I'm very happy with that look on the shoulder pads. I am very much liking how this costume is looking. The shoulder pads can be moved a little bit further up my arm in terms of it's kind of being pushed and then rotated towards my back because they kind of only cover the front of my arm, not the back of it, as you can see here. So I might uh, adjust where this seam lays I might actually undo that stitch and kind of push it a bit farther back. But other than that, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I would say the first and second layer of this costume are basically done. All that's left in this costume is a lot of leather and a shield. So you gotta actually add these belt pieces, you know, various uh, containers and pockets, uh, holsters, and then of course, upgrade the shield. But that's for another day. Okay, we're getting down to the wire, so let's finish this costume up. Today, we're taking some old scrap belts and bags from Goodwill, and we are making the main bandolier, the belt, as well as the leg holster. So Goodwill, this time, I lucked out like crazy, and I found a bunch of stuff that I could really easily use, especially this, this bag for $5. Not every Goodwill is gonna have some good stuff, and you might need to go multiple times to your local secondhand shop because they keep restocking and finding new things. If you can't find stuff like this to keep your costume nice and cheap, you know, don't fret, look again. If not, I was honestly considering using cardboard and painting it with a dark brown to make it look like leather or making cardboard pieces and then covering it with like a, a leather sheet from a craft store. But I lucked out, especially with this piece. This piece not only fits me around the waist, but already has a built-in pocket for the main belt, which is super cool. So I think I'm going to take this Sephora makeup bag for three dollars. Uh, my guess is I can cut it down the middle in half and then have, or maybe even cut it like one. You know what? What if I cut this in thirds so I have three different openable pouches and then glue down the seams and then I'll just have to paint it a dark brown later on. So I just need to glue down this piece so that it actually makes a little pocket. Now granted, I won't be able to hold anything, but I guess I like the idea of having them actually open up and, and flap closed than I am about actually having them hold things. I think this belt is all set, uh, obey it, uh, a nice brown paint job, because it is kind of weird to have a rose gold Sephora makeup bag very plainly visible on a belt. So I think with a coat of brown over all this, it'll look really good. On to the bandolier. So looking at my reference image, the bandolier only has one big pouch or one main pouch. I'm gonna put that on top of the, the metal part of the belt because this is pretty easy to take on and off. 
so I won't need to actually unhook the belt. I think I'm going to use the big bag for this guy, or part of it at least. And then I'm just gonna take part of the bag and use that as, you know, make a little pouch out of it. Oh, I do like this piece right here, this little, this little ring piece. I like that, I might, I might use that. That's a nice piece to have. All right, let's think through how I want to cut this up. Cut off this extra inside flaps. Another zipper in there as well. Fold it over itself, perhaps. Now, that's not bad. That actually looks pretty close to the reference image. And I just slapped that on right here. That could work. All right, let's do that. So we're gonna glue this guy shut. Maybe even use some extra of the pieces to cover up the edges. This is part of costuming that I love. The, the little bits of experimentation where you're not sure if something's gonna totally work, but then you see it and you're like, yeah, that's how I wanna do it. a lot. Simple, but effective. So with the leg holster, my original idea, and kind of what I did with my Star-Lord cosplay a while back, take an old belt, wrap it around the thigh, fish it through. Because there's no hole to feed the little metal pin in, kind of put the pin to the side so it kind of holds up some tension, and then take the excess and kind of just fish it up through the main belt. That way, it looks like it's actually attached to the belt. And what I might do is I actually might just glue and or stitch the holster to the belt. So I make it all one piece. That way, one, it holds up better. Two, it actually just looks really nice that way. Now for the actual holster bag, the actual part attached to the, uh, the leg straps. I'm going to dive back into this brown purse. And I think if I just use this entire panel back here and I kind of roll it into itself, I can make kind of like a, 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 not a gun shaped thing, but yeah, kind of a gun shaped little uh, bag. I actually kind of like the various, I think they're like not sequins, but decorative metal pieces going down the front because it almost feels like rivets, actually. All right, belt, holster, bandolier. That's, that's all the leather pieces for the costume, which means minus some weathering, this costume is basically done. Let's try the whole sucker on. Actually, before I try the costume on, I have to make one quick detour to Party City to get some gloves. I feel like these will be a little bit small and they might not go up as far on my form as I need them to, to cover up the shirt seam. So let's keep looking. I think I might go with these Darth Vader gauntlet gloves. One, they're on sale for like six bucks, so that's pretty good. Two, they go up the arm far enough. And three, I know they're black, but I can dirty them up and paint them brown if need be. I can get them to look pretty good. So I think these are the winner. happy with how this costume is turning out. I do need to paint the gloves brown and weather the whole thing, but I am really, really happy with how this, how this looks right now. Also, side note, as of this recording, this channel has hit 4,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support, all your views, and frankly, all your subscriptions. As you guys know, this is not my full-time job. This is just something I do it for fun, but I am really thankful you guys enjoy watching the videos. You know, Thanks guys, I really can't thank you enough. 
And as always, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.